Hello again, everybody. Uh, happy whichever day it is that you're doing this. Should be Wednesday or Thursday by now. Today, we are doing uh, Castle Unit 5, Activity 3. The focus question for this activity, as you can see on the sheet that you should also have in front of you, we're going to be wondering, what is the effect of adding another round bulb in parallel? So what we have is we have this circuit that has three round bulbs in series. And what we're going to do is we're going to add another bulb in parallel with that middle bulb. As you can see, I've just left this open here. So essentially what we have is just two wires open there. And as you probably already know, if I connect this, all three of those light bulbs light. Okay, you can see all three of them are lit about the same brightness because they are in series. So they should all have also the same charge flow through them. What I want you to do first is to color code the first circuit on the top left of your sheet. Mine didn't print very well. It's possible that yours won't either. If it didn't print properly, go ahead and redraw them on the back. Okay, but what we do know for sure about this circuit is that the top of the battery, the positive side, is always going to be red. Okay, so that first wire should be red, and that last wire should be blue. And this gets a little bit hairy because... Um, we know that these can't both be yellow because then this one wouldn't be lit. But they can't really be orange and green either because the jump from orange to green would be bigger than the jump from red to orange or from green to blue. And since they're all the same brightness, they must all have the same um, pressure difference across them. So the colors of this wire and this wire must be somewhere between orange and yellow and green and yellow. I'm not sure exactly what you want to call that color. Yellow, orange, and yellow, green seems to work fine by me. I'm, I'm not going to re-record the video just because the answering machine went off. So just, <clears throat> yep, cool. Um, great. So go ahead and color code those. And those hanging wires, right, since they're connected with no bulb in between them, right, this wire and this wire, they must be the same color as well. I want you to also fill out your predictions. Okay, let's take a look at the questions. How will the addition of the fourth bulb, that's this one right here, affect the flow rate through the first and third bulbs. So if I add another bulb in parallel with this one, but not with these two, right? So it's in parallel with this one. What you are gonna see is that the charge has another path to flow through. So if the charge has another path that it's going to flow through on the other side of bulb one here, or on the other side of bulb three here, how is that going to affect the charge flow in these bulbs? Is it going to make that charge flow bigger? Is it going to make that charge flow smaller? And then along with that, how does the brightness change? If we have more charge flow, we should see the bulbs get brighter. Okay, and then the same question, but for the second bulb. How is it going to affect the charge flow through the second bulb when I add another bulb here? Go ahead and make those predictions, and then I will plug in this bulb. Okay, here we go. Ready for it? Did you see it? Okay, no bulb in parallel. Bulb 4 is added. Okay, you see that when I add bulb 4... Bulb two actually goes out, and bulbs one and three get brighter. 
And we have this kind of interesting question, which is, well, bulb 2 went out, so is charge flowing through it? And if you remember our activity from the other day, we saw that charge can flow through a bulb without the bulb lighting, but that does mean that the pressure difference on either side of that bulb must be very, very small. So the pressure difference from those middle wires, right, between this wire here and this wire here, or this wire here and this wire here, sorry about the image not printing right, but basically between this wire and this wire, that pressure difference when I add that fourth bulb drops to very, very small, which means that what, what we must have in the middle is essentially a yellow pressure, right? Because we have the same drop from, I only have one hand, from this wire to this wire and from this wire to this wire, we have the same drop. And if these wires are blue and red like they should be, then that must mean that these middle wires must all be basically yellow or just on either side of yellow so that charge must flow through that bulb because if charge didn't flow through that bulb, then there would be no charge flow anywhere in the circuit. Okay, so what we've observed here then is that the brightness of bulb one, two, and three before adding this bulb the brightness is all the same, and it's kind of like a medium brightness. And four is obviously out. But then after, we see one and three are lit pretty bright, but two and four are not lit. But they must still have some charge flow. So the flow rate after we connect the fourth bulb is just very, very small. through those bulbs. But we still have a high flow rate in and out of bulbs one and three, because we do still see those lighting. So think about that for a little while, reconcile that with yourself, and then go ahead on through the PowerPoint that I'll post. Hopefully those notes will help you understand it. If not, you're welcome to bring your questions to me during the office hours via Google Meet. That link should be posted for you every day, so you should be able to find me between the hours of 2 and 3 p.m. Otherwise, you can email me and I might be available at some other times. Talk to you guys later. Bye.